Alright, what's going on guys? So last week I was on Amazon, I was looking for some fishing lures, and it kind of in the recommended section, these popped up. Uh, so it is 13 Fishing, that is the brand. I've never really heard of it before, but looking at their site, they have a lot of uh, really small, soft plastic. I think a lot of their stuff is geared toward ice fishing. Obviously in South Florida, we're not gonna be ice fishing, but we're gonna try uh, some of their products out down here in South Florida. Today we're gonna be fishing this canal, and the first lure I'm gonna try from them is the Micro Joystick. Uh, it's a little frog imitation, I would guess. It's a little tube type body with uh, little beaver paddle tails on the end. So they have a lot of really cool looking lures and their packaging is very nice. I think sometimes some of these brands, their marketing is more toward fishermen and less toward fish. I don't know yet if that's what this brand does, but very nice packaging, but they have all this like, uh, all these like buzzwords like HD and donkey sauce and max buoyancy and mega super certified. So what do all these mean? Like what is mega super certified? I have no idea but I guess it looks good on the packaging. So hopefully the, the lures themselves are as good as the packaging. So we're gonna be fishing the micro joystick from 13 Fishing today. We'll see what we can get on it. Their packaging looks good, the lure looks good. Now let's hope the fish like them as well. All right, so here is the lure. It's on a little uh, ice fishing style jig head. It's a very, very small lure, but we're gonna be fishing a very, very small canal. It's a little murky down there, but let's see if we can pick some fish up. Sometimes with these smaller lures, the action isn't very good. But let's take a look at this one. This looks pretty good. The legs are flopping nicely. All right, now let's see if we can get a fish to bite. There we go. First fish of the day. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, on the first cast, we got our fish. This is going to be a little Salvini cichlid. Uh, I mean, they're definitely not common in South Florida unless you know where to fish. This canal I do know has a good population of these guys, but they are not very widespread. So this is a cool little catch, something that I don't get to catch too often and most people don't get to catch really ever, but it engulfed the little micro joystick here. Let's get it out. Let's take one more look at this guy and let's get him back in. There we go, fish on. That's a nice one, I think it's gonna be a jaguar. I saw this guy come from under that vegetation to hit it. Let's flip him on up here, nice. All right, so this is another one of those rarer cichlids. He's definitely more common than the Salvini. Uh, he's definitely wi more widespread as well. It's just, their numbers are small. Usually you'll find these guys, almost most places you'll find Mayans, but you're gonna have to catch like 20, 30 Mayan cichlids before you can catch one of these guys. So definitely a neat catch. Put up a nice fight on this extra ultralight rod. He is barely hooked, but a catch is a catch. So let's get this one back and let's keep fishing. So while we're trying to get another one, that was a bad cast, almost ended up in the tree. Uh, so while we're trying to get another one, let's talk about this lure a little bit. So far, I do really like it. The action is a little bit more than okay. So it does have those two little frog leg-like appendages. And I'll show you here in a second, but they're a little bit thicker and heavier toward the end. So if you just kind of swim this thing back to you, they they flutter very very uh fast it's not a big vibration like a big wavy vibration but it's really really fast which is okay 
but I think when you jig this vertically, the action is so much better. I really doubt that you can see it because it's such a small lure and the water is a little murky. But when you jig this thing vertically, these catch a lot of water. Hopefully you can see how it's just a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier there at the tips as opposed to at the base. And those catch some water and as you jig it, it vertically, these things bounce up and down a little bit better. So really do like the action of this lure. I don't think on the packaging it says how big this thing is, but it's definitely, I don't want to say definitely, I'm pretty sure it's less than an inch, maybe an inch. So definitely small, micro finesse style fishing. Has a solid action, especially if you're jigging it vertically. Obviously, these are made for ice fishing. That would make a lot of sense. If you're fishing it off of piers or docks or I guess off of a boat, it also makes a lot of sense. Here, I'm able to get up off the, off the ground a little bit, so I'm able to jig it vertically. But even fishing it from a bank, like swimming it back, the action is still good enough to catch some fish. So let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get on this thing. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. He is just pulling drag and not letting up one bit. No idea what that is. Haven't seen it yet. I hope I at least get a chance to see it. I've got three pound test. This is my extra ultralight rod. Oh, that's a nice largemouth. No, it's a peacock. It's a pretty nice sized peacock, especially for this little rod. I think I got a shot at him. Let's see if I can, if I flip him, he might break me. So let me see if I can bring him here in the shallows. Just get him up right there. All right, let's climb down there. Let's take a look at him. Alright, so here it is, hooked right in the top of the mouth, got on that micro joystick. Let's try to get this hook out. Getting these little ice fishing jig heads is also very difficult for some reason. There we go. Nice little peacock bass on the extra ultralight rod. I always say you don't need big lures to catch big fish, and I know this isn't a monster peacock, but for a little canal like this, and considering the size of the hook, jig head, and lure I was using, that is a very, very nice fish. So that guy's back. It's been a pretty good day. Let's keep fishing. Let's see if we can catch this guy. It's a gar. This is gonna be tough and he's off. So gar, super easy to get them to bite. Very difficult to actually hook them. Even more difficult to catch them. They've just got really bony mouths. Not a lot of material there for the hook to dig into. I think I had him hooked for a second. Maybe you could see him. He's way over there now on the surface. But could not get him. All right guys, so that's gonna do it. Roughly an hour and 15 minutes of fishing the 13 fishing little micro joystick. That's what it's called, right? Micro joystick in this pink color. Uh, let's talk about it a little bit. So number one, I like it. I think I would definitely buy it again. I would definitely fish it again if I was gonna be targeting some smaller species of fish. Like I said, this is probably uh, mainly gonna be used for ice fishing. We're here in South Florida or some other bodies of water. It'll be fine for all these like smaller species of fish. Maybe in most of the U.S. if you're fishing some smaller creeks. This, I'm sure this would be great for like little sunfish, creek chubs, that sort of thing. Um, let me actually show you the one that I've been using real quick. 
that is still on the jig head. Caught three fish on it, lost uh, a fourth, a gar, and it's in okay shape. It didn't really um, break apart too much, but it did rip a little bit. I'm pretty sure it ripped on the peacock bass, kind of right there where the hook is, which does happen fairly regularly with a lot of lures. It's not like super stretchy and super durable, but it's not the, uh, the worst material either. But it is a pretty well designed uh, lure. I love the little grub body, which is just a classic. And then these little appendages here, they swim and they flutter pretty well, especially when you're jigging it vertically like that, as opposed to just kind of swimming. When you swim it, it works a little bit, but these little uh, back legs here catch a lot of water when you're jigging it, jigging it vertically. And I believe most of my hits, actually I guess 50-50, half of my hits came on the vertical jigs, and half of them came when I was kind of swimming it back to me. So for my first time trying these 13 fishing lures, I think I'm pretty happy with them. Um, I will say that I confirm that it is now super mega certified, like 13 fishing claims. I agree, super mega certified it is. So that's the uh, micro joystick from 13 fishing. I've got three more 13 fishing lures to try out over the next uh, couple videos. So stay tuned to those. Hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys next time.